trivial on the part of the couple, but offensive on the part of showing the weakness and the security of the White House. failure if of the, local law authorities to take control of the situation. And I say shame on them selfish for Selfish things you can do, and it is not child-centered. Well, That's a Heather great Ellis. Point, She's 24 years old, a school teacher, and she could be headed to prison for as long as 15. Jennifer Smetters is a criminal defense attorney, and she looks very happy. Police so officers are chance. there to keep the peace, not inflame an already ag uh, aggressive situation. In our prisons. We've got the New York Times reported 5% of our population, of the global population in the United States, 25% of the global population in our prisons. We need to watch who we're putting in prison. She's not a criminal. Joining us from Chicago, attorney Jennifer Smetters. Uh, he does have a baseline lawsuit, but I don't believe that it's in his best interest to pursue that. He is a great advocate for himself. He's right now using his best arsenal that he has, and that's the right airwaves. I understand, doing but, but Bill, it is. But Bill, I Googled him today. Bill, I Googled Rush Limbaugh, and all you see on the top searches is what's going on right now. His name are, is now being linked with these false statements. It comes a time where you have to say enough. But if Limbaugh is clean on it. He's got no downside. I, I, and I have no doubt on that, that he would come out clean on this. But the downside is, is that this, that pursuing litigation will only perpetuate linking his name with he these false statements. He doesn't care about that. It's already out there. And, and why does he care? He, he, it, but going through litigation is not going to, it, the cat's out of the bag, going through litigation is not going to cure the defect. It's going to be out there. And in fact, it's going to be talked about more and more But he and doesn't more. care about I think that. It's in the best he, he wants I to punish he, the people. And I understand this because, look, I understand this because this exactly same thing happened to me. But I chose to take your word. You got, look, Jennifer, they're never going to stop. They're never no, because stop. he's an easy they're target. He's an outspoken well, conservative. I know and he's this firsthand. They will never stop. Ladies, thanks very much. Jennifer Smetters, as a former prosecutor, I always loved it when they absolutely she is her own worst enemy right now to have one version of the story right after this child is missing and now to have a whole other version of the story after the polygraph was administered i find this highly suspicious it's I a think problem she is jennifer it's absolutely a problem. It's and, a big and, problem and and nobody Chicago with that. analysis attorney jennifer smetters all right counselor i'm going to appoint you as the lawyer for the woods family and okay. uh, just a quick rundown, 2 in the morning, he smacks his car into a tree in a fire hydrant, neighbors hear it, call 911. He is not getting uh, currently right now or else not accepting if he is getting it. One, face the public, get out there and make a personal statement, thank everyone for their concern and explain the situation. He really should have done right, let me, this Let me earlier. stop you there, let me stop you there. What if the situation okay, is have to get into every detail, but yes, Bill, I want him to get out there, I want him to admit, look, this is, the, uh, in a nutshell, here's what happened, and and then he can say what he is doing a little bit it to cure the situation. But that, was a think, but that was a different situation, Jennifer. You There you had another... It's embarrassing nonetheless. Well, it certainly was. But there you had a, a guy... He's, he's, a, he's a person that everyone knows. People are interested. Does that make it right that we should know about some of his private business? Not necessarily. But the longer he's quiet, the more the speculation and the rumors are right. dealing with him. people who are very interested in him. The silence isn't helping him. And I think that's my point. Do I want to hear the nitty-gritty of the whole situation? No. But he needs... But he canceled his tournament this right. week. He canceled his press conference right. tomorrow. It's just asking more questions. And it's not putting him in a very good light right now. It makes it now, look like he's these, hiding uh, something. These clowns who crashed the uh, White House party, okay? Uh, yes. I think that the federal government well, should I'm prosecute I'm going to respectfully them. disagree with you, and here's why. We need to know what happened when they entered the White House. Well, that's a given, and, and they'll tell. Because Absolutely. if they don't, we can waterboard yes. them, Jennifer. <laughs> Well, I, you you know, can't, I, I'm and not. And I would definitely, <laughs> before that, but we'll know what, how they got in and we'll know who right. screwed up. But, but the but fact that I'm they getting... tried it, it has cost but the taxpayers a lot of money prosecuting. Understood, understood. Two points here, Bill. One is they got in, they used their names, they weren't hiding anything. We don't know how they got past they the guards, but they did. They lied. We, we don't know that. We don't oh, know. Man, don't I'm not that. saying this is an excuse, Bill, but what I am saying is that 
that they this we can use this opportunity as uh, uh, Bernie Thompson, the committee chair for Homeland Security, is inviting them in for uh, to testify on Thursday. I think this is a great opportunity for the government to look at where there's right. a breakdown we can in the as protocol. A learning, as a learning experience, but you know, when they go in and testify, when they came out, I'd slap the cuffs right on them. Counselor, thanks very uh, much. We appreciate it. Plenty more ahead as a factor moves along this evening. That. I think it will help the situation overall. I think what it will do is take a little bit of the focus and spotlight off of what the wife and the children are doing, where they're going, who they're it's going to see. Emotion came right. through. I felt that he was his most sincere when we saw a little bit of anger and, quite frankly, hostility a little bit there towards the cameras following his family. I he's believed, down that and the, the focus is now going to go to a Tiger, and he's going to be able to now, he's, he talked the talk, he's going to have to walk the walk. Okay, but um, let me play he devil's advocate too here. long. Quite frankly, a 13-minute statement is, I think, a little excessive. I think it could have been a little bit more brief, it sounds like, is control the situation. And in his trying to control and tightening his grip, he actually lost control of this. And that's well, what all the he lost control as soon as the press came out got soon off. enough, in my opinion. And I've said it before, and I'm sticking to it. The difference between uh, the situation with Kobe Bryant is he came out pretty soon um, after the event with his wife and seemed very sincere. to their guns, usually. Now, can a relationship overcome infidelity? Absolutely. But really what's at the play, at heart here is whatever they decide to do, they're young and they make, may make decisions different down the road. Okay? It's easier to accept a cheater, I think, when you're a little bit younger and a little bit more naive. Backing up a little bit, what who's not going to take it back right away is the public. It's going to take longer than five to six years. He heard the pocketbooks of companies. I think he's a liability, not an asset to board of directors. Mm -hmm. I think any company that says we want to put our name uh, with Tiger is going to get a lot. Mexico involving a hotel owner and a Spanish-speaking employee. There are exceptions to that rule, and I believe exceptions to the rule apply here. One, there has to be a safety issue for the English only, and also there's an exception that says it has to go to efficiency. Yeah, of right. If they're communicating with him, I don't think his employees would be so offensive as to communicate with him in another language. They want to express a thought. They're going to communicate people, in the proper people way. People are going to talk about their boss behind their back or sometimes in front of them, quite frankly. This man cannot be the more Moral police he made employees. saying he doesn't mind if his employees speak Spanish with other Spanish customers, just not in front of him. And I think that's a bias. All right, Counselor, thanks very much. Can we somebody make it. that we type of legal it. ruling? Absolutely. More likely, if the parties, uh, that is John and Kate, do not have an agreement as to what they're going to do about the custody and the visitation on, with regard to the children, uh, the judge in the case may appoint a child. Absolutely. These companies took a risk here. What they were up against is the fans, Nike, Nike, we're seeing it in Gatorade. Those are fan-based companies, as opposed to Accenture, which is a business-based company. So where it's hit hardest on Wall Street is in the companies that the fans support. But he's failed our finances because we, as a country and as corporations, have hitched our wagon, if you will, to here. him and his That wife. made a very audacious move, to say the least. Very brash, to okay? Say the least. Uh, nobody's disputing that. But they entered the White House. They gave their names, is what we're hearing. They, uh, they were escorted in. They went through security. And not only did Secret Service let them through, but an aide let them through. These aren't people we who jump the say fence. that they're we trespassing can't. here. They made no qualms about who they were and why they were there. The fault lies so here the with fraud? the White House. But, but the Tom, where was the fraud there. The fraud was that this gentleman, the balloon boy's father, lied. These people said exactly who they are. And that's the, that the U.S. Marshals were possibly well, uh, overstepping here is wrong. We want them to be vigilant, and I say kudos yeah. to the U.S. Marshals. You don't scream fire in a theater, yeah. and, and you don't scream bomb or fire on a plane. But we don't that's know when he said it. We do not. Not. The issue is when Absolutely. did he we would say be, it? We don't no. know when he well, said that. doesn't matter. I you don't we, say right. those words. Those are fighting no, no words. No one can get away with this except a diplomat. All right, and, and the thing I think is it also yeah, hurts the yeah. taking no, it away. What they are doing, what? Laura, what they're doing here Go is ahead. they are taking away the responsibility of one neighbor to pay for their other neighbor's on, abortion. Ladies, thank you very much. And still to come, some... <laughs>